out there, this is Martel, Mike, and Maurice, and we are the Triple M Model Railroad. Okay, my category, experimental laboratory. The mundane they kind of bore me, so insane is what they call me. Like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, it's an insane rhyme what you get inside, but don't worry, you'll be just fine. You're only with the lyrical mastermind. My bunts and burners hot to my only plans to prosper. That's just a who's gonna stop the evil genius Mustafa. So who gonna stop the evil genius Mustafa? So who gonna stop the evil genius Mustafa? Okay, this is a gusset. It's a handmade gusset. Alright, and this gusset was made by, uh, mm -hmm. well, it's a duplicate of what, um, Jeff Johnson does. And we just basically put it here like this on this block of wood. Don't drop it. And I'm just gonna trace right here. Trace on this side. And I'm gonna pre-drill my holes. We <laughs> got about four screws. Nice and sturdy. Now, before you put this gusset on this, on the back of it, you want to put some holes here, because you don't want the drill to be in the way. The chuck might hit the gusset. Okay. Now, since mm -hmm. my one of my partners has mm -hmm. greatly corrected me. Uh, and I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In this part here, there's, uh, evidently the screw has to be shorter because you don't want it to peek out here. All right? No. All right. We'll try and drop, we're making an attempt to drop the first screw in once I get this one out. Might be another blooper. Mm. See the way this is now, now we can't really use the um Alright, there we go. Success. So I guess the gym does really works. All right, and what I'll do is, wherever I have that hole, I'll measure it on the side, just to see if it's gonna pinch it a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna drop it down a little more. But I'll put this one in first. Get your thumb out of the way. Mm. It took me on three hours of sleep, yes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> And now we got our gusset the right way. Hey, there you go. Awesome. Mm -hmm. You too can make gussets at mm home. -hmm. Yes. That's right. Now the only problem with this gusset is we still have to cut this part off because this over, overhang right here is too much. So we're going to take this back part off again and cut this mm -hmm. overhang off, which is on um, number three blueprint. Can I take a look at it? Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. So you're not going into the wall? No, I'm not cutting in the wall. Okay. Uh, if you don't cut into the wall, this is going to come out a little bit. Are you okay with it? Or are you going to have this section? No, it won't come out because we're going to cut. going to come out a little bit? We're going to cut the, the back off. We're going to unscrew it and cut the back part off. Cut what off? What I just marked. Yeah, this right here. But I'm saying for once this goes. Okay, I understand what you're talking about. Right. I just had to talk about that. Yeah. I, got, I only got six hours of sleep. So. Okay, so you can press in it, that drill behind you, please. Yeah. Now, this time we should get it correct. <laughs> and please don't call us three stooges. <laughs> I'm not making no mistakes. <laughs> I'm just filming. All right. Now 
Now we got it. As you can see in this video, Mike and Martel is actually installing the second piece or the second framework of the upper tier. And what they're going to do is they're going to do the final uh, measurements and uh, make sure that everything is all aligned correctly uh, before they bolt it to the wall. Mattel actually brings out the leveler to make sure that the framework is actually level and flush to the wall and also that is leveled to the first framework that's installed. Once the frame is leveled off, Martel adds the last screws to help support the second frame onto the first frame. So railroad fans out there, keep on railroad railroading. This is Martel, Mike, and Big Mo. Peace. So long.